she actually died here in 1840, so... Leave here. Jesus. Freaking it. I just found something over here. Scrying or like mirror gazing. There's movement to my right in the shower curtain. Are you able to come into this room? Can you show yourself to me in the mirror? Keepers, thank you so much for tuning into Amy's Crypt tonight. We are going to be sleeping over in a very haunted hotel here in Sorrel, Tasmania. This place has a very interesting ghost story. It is known as the Bluebell Inn, so stay tuned. All right, guys, I am actually standing right out front of our haunted inn, the Bluebell Inn, and this place is absolutely beautiful inside and out. So I'm going to take you in for a look around. The Bluebell Inn sits in Sorrel, Tasmania and has a history spanning back to 1829. The original building that stood on this land burned down in 1863, yet was later rebuilt. The Bluebell Inn has served as an important structure in Sorrel and witnessed many dark times. It was used as an emergency makeshift hospital during World War I and has also functioned as both a maternity and influenza hospital during times of need. Many claim this building to be haunted, not just from its past as a hospital, but due to murder. In 1840, a living mistress of the innkeeper named Anne died within the home. The inn's proprietor, William Curry, was charged with her murder, yet was later cleared. Anne is said to have died after accidentally falling down a flight of stairs despite that current building being only one story high. Other evidence surrounding the case seems to point towards a murder, yet the true cause of Anne's death remains a mystery to this day. Many claim to have felt, sighted and interacted with the spirit of Anne within the Bluebell Inn. In particular, within the room we are spending the night. All right guys, so I've just made it into our room, which is lovely. And this whole hotel is, is just lovely. I think if you guys are ever in Sorrel, Tasmania, definitely come and stay here. It's like one of the nicest places we've been. Uh, I've also just spoken to the owners of the property who have been here for a couple of years and they gave me some insight into the paranormal occurrences that have happened here specifically. With Anne, the, the husband said that he woke up one night to almost feeling like he got kissed on the lips, like an icy cold soft kiss, which I think is kind of <laughs> nice in a way, I don't know. They don't think that Anne, the resident ghost here, is bad at all which is quite nice, but they do believe that, you know, she was murdered and they've done a lot of research on the historical backing of her trial and this house. So they understand a lot about this place's past and they do believe it's probably more inclined to, to be a murder, specifically because, you know, there's stories that she was pushed down the stairs, but the building that was here at the time of her death was only a one-story building. So, I mean, you just, you just never know with these things. They've also had their um, curtains, their blinds kind of move up on their own as well as like wine glasses shake at the same time. So I think that that's pretty cool. Now, I was under the impression that there was no specific haunted room, most haunted room, but the room that we're in, there has been some people to report kind of paranormal things in here. People have actually seen Anne in here. They've seen her in the room and uh, one person said that she was kind of walking through the room carrying a bunch of what looks like sheets. I've also had some activity in the ballroom upstairs where their surveillance camera will just flick on by itself. It's kind of like motion activated, I guess. And that's the only camera um, in the public spaces here that kind of flicks on by itself. So I think that I'm happy that we're staying in this room tonight. I think that it's gonna be a really cool investigation and I friggin' love this place. I am just hitting record now on a ghost tube session. I thought that we should kick off our paranormal investigation upstairs here at the Bluebell Inn. We're currently standing in the upstairs ballroom and I think this might actually be my favorite room of the inn. Um, so I want to reach out to our resident ghost, which is a woman who, who goes by the name of Anne. She actually died here in 1840, so 
We'll just walk around and... Leave here. Oh, really? Is this Anne? Do you not want us here? Can you tell me why? So I'm just going to sit down for a second. I'm going to pop this on the table with my phone. Are you a friend? Yes, I'm a friend. So the magnetic reader's jumping around a fair bit. I don't know if there's anything in this table that could be affecting it or in the room. I'm hoping to talk to Anne. I've heard that you are still here in, in this building even though this building has since been replaced since I uh, used to live here. Can you tell me please why you're still at the Bluebell Inn? You can come and join us on uh, the couches if you like. We're not here to harm you. We're actually going to spend two nights here. Really, really hoping to, to talk to you. Or if you can just show us that you are still here. It is a beautiful building. I really don't blame you for wanting to stay here. I just heard something over here. Okay, Worship. Ooh, that scared me. Worship. Something's tapping on that window over there. Um, I mean, maybe it could be wind out there. But I know for a fact, uh, when I walked past that window earlier today, as you walk past on the floorboards, it actually <laughs> taps on the window. And I f feel like I could hear scratching or like movement over there before too. Is that you, Anne? Are you in this room with us? Have you come to join us? Can you make another noise if that is you? Nineteen. Did you hear that other noise? Yeah, just before nineteen, yeah. Yeah. right now but there was like a metallic sounding tap over over there somewhere were you 19 Anne? is that your age now there's a really like Husky sounding dog barking. I think that's a dog. Yeah. This just sounds weird. Are you able to make another noise for us, Anne? Maybe one a little bit closer to, to us? Right, this 
window is and rocking. Maybe I'm not rocking as heavy as I did today, but when I walked past here today, it was uh, like the floorboards were all shaking everything. Or maybe it was this window. I'm not sure. And can you show yourself in the mirror? Can you make another noise for us, please? Are you able to move something in this room? I've heard that you've moved things around before. Can you possibly move something on the bar? Can you move any of those glasses? I've heard move, moving glasses is something you've done. Alright guys, so this one's a little bit more random. I've just moved into the bathroom of our hotel room and I'm going to try an experiment which kind of dates back to like the Victorian ages. It's known as scrying or like mirror gazing and you guys have seen this once on my channel and it was actually something that Jara did in one of my Halloween specials at Old Talon Town. No, I look like an old man when I like kind of relax and just stare at it. And I have done this before and it, it was quite strange to do and very odd, but I've never done it for myself on my channel. So I thought, what better way to do that in with this nice bathroom mirror here in a real haunted location here at the Bluebell Inn. So I'm gonna try and reach out to Anne. I'm gonna be um, asking some questions and I'll kind of explain what I'm doing as uh, we go along. But the point is to kind of just focus on your face, facial features in the mirror. So this is my reflection here. So if you guys want to watch that, you know what I look like. You know, you've seen, hopefully you've seen a lot of my videos. You know my face pretty well. And the thought is that maybe your facial features could morph into somebody else's. Maybe somebody else could appear in the mirror behind you. All sorts of crazy things. Um, last time I did it, I personally felt like my facial features were changing the shape and like location of my eyes were changing. I also looked a fair bit older. I understand that could just be your mind messing with you and I will explain to you guys what I'm seeing if my face does morph or, or look weird and creepy. But I think it looks creepy with this friggin' lighting anyway. Also, my mum is in the room. She's just behind the camera. Hey. Reason being is she's just watching my face to see if I'm seeing it change and she sees it changing in the same way. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's just try and reach out. Hi, my name is Amy and I've come here today with my mother, Sonia, and we really would like to make contact with any of the, the spirits here at the Bluebell Inn. I'd love for you to come through this mirror to communicate with me. Maybe you can show yourself to me here or talk to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to gaze into my own eyes and I'm not going to break my stare. I'm almost going to look through my own reflection. There's movement to my right in the shower curtain. But I'm not going to break my gaze. Can you show me your face, please? Can you come free, Anne? Again, I just heard something to my right.
Can you make a loud noise if that's you, Anne? Are you able to come into this room? Can you show yourself to me in the mirror? Was that you, Mum? No. What the heck? That was not me. Are you able to come into this room? Can you show yourself to me in the mirror? Are you able to come into this room? Can you show yourself to me in the mirror? Are you trying to show me your face? I feel like I just heard a sigh or something. It sounded like a woman sighing. Anne, can you show me your face in mine? head is getting closer to me like in the mirror if that makes sense do you notice anything different about my face mum no can you see anything behind me <laughs> no all right guys so i've just hit record and mum mum and i have swapped so now mum is doing the mirror gazing so what i want you to do mum is just stare into your own eyes and just Kind of relax your eyes and almost look through your own face so you're not focusing on details but you're just kind of looking away from your own face now we call out to Anne if Anne is in this building in this room in the Bluebell Inn can you please come into the bathroom with us We're hoping that you can use this mirror to show us that you're here. Maybe you can show your face to us in the mirror. I've changed the facial features of the lady that's staring into the mirror right now. Or show yourself behind her. Because that place in Z Ward freaked me out. The mirror room. Yeah, that room's pretty scary. Mm. This is not as scary as that what day. <laughs> not at all. Things show up in the mirror. Yeah, it used to be regular. People yeah. who were doing lockdown here regularly used to. How do you feel? I feel like my pupils are really big. Yeah, I had that same feeling. <laughs> I don't feel like my features have changed. We might have a bit too much light, I think, for this to properly work. Can you give us a sign that you're here, Anne? We would really appreciate that. A noise in the shower curtain. Yep. So we haven't used the shower today, guys, <laughs> yet. How does your face look? Looks the same. Same? Mm. Yeah, you look the same to me. Mum, I'm going to get you to open that shower window, the shower curtain, because there might be something behind it. Jesus, that freaked me out. 
There's nothing there, but it keeps moving. What? It was definitely moving and making noise on its own. The spirit of Anne is said to be able to do that as well, so. And are you able to move the shower curtain? Can you move this blue curtain in front of us, please? Are you able to tug on that, Anne? Can you move it, please? All right, guys, that mirror experiment was kind of interesting. Um, I do like doing that. I know you freaked mum out, but whatever. <laughs> Uh, what was the most interesting thing though? We didn't particularly get a lot of visual stuff. I mean, I will replay the recording and like watch our faces or the background because who knows, maybe it changed on camera. You never know when you do these experiments. But we did get some weird noises in here. There was this thing definitely sound like it was moving. I didn't see it move, but I could hear it. I don't know if the camera audio will, will have picked that up because it was really like a light, faint noise. It really may have, but there were a couple of weird noises that we heard in the uh, front room as well earlier. So I think we might go into the actual bedroom, get a bit more comfortable and kind of continue reaching out to Anne and we'll go completely lights out. Maybe even with a little bit of light, it's still just distracting for the spirit. I, I don't really know how it works, but we'll go into the bedroom and we'll keep trying. I am calling out to Anne or any other spirits that may be here. I feel like I just heard something. Are you able to tell me what happened when you fell down the stairs? If that was Anne, she did not want to talk about it. Move stuff before she has supposedly moved around the curtains in here. They move by themselves. We'll feel ourselves sleeping. That blind moving. Alright guys, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. That really, really helps me out. If you want to do more reading on this place or any of the other haunted locations I visited, head to my website, amyscrypt.com. You guys can also follow me on social media. I'm at amyscrypt on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Thanks for watching, Crypt Keepers. Until next time.